A 20-year-old who grew up in this town. His mother was reportedly a teacher at that school. CBS News reporter Inez Ferre has the latest from outside of the school. Opened fire at this elementary school in Connecticut. Most of them are children. As police converged on the scene, they evacuated students and staff to a firehouse up the street. An eight-year-old boy told CBS News what happened. I saw some of the bullets going past the hall that I was right next to, and then a teacher pulled me into her classroom. The gunman is identified as a 20-year-old man from New Jersey. Police say he was dead at the scene of an apparently self-inflicted gunshot wound. There is no word of a motive, but CBS News has learned his mother worked at the school, and most of the shooting happened in her classroom. When police arrived at the suspect's address, a body was found in the home. Newtown police arrived at Sandy Hook Elementary shortly after 9.30 in the morning. They quickly called for state backup and a SWAT team and released word to expect the worst. Within the hour, Homeland Security began updating the White House, where President Obama called the governor with condolences. The majority of those who died today were children. Uh, beautiful little kids between the ages of 5 and 10 years old. Other schools in the area were put on lockdown. Parents rushed to pick up their children. It's just horrible. I'm you know, it's, I got a phone call from the school this morning. I didn't know what, what school it was or anything. They just said there was a shooting. While the investigation continues, it is already one of the worst mass shootings in U.S. history. In Asbury for CBS News, Newtown, Connecticut. We're also learning new details about the gunman. 10 News investigator Noah Pransky is here now with the latest. And Noah, at one point there was a lot of confusion over which brother was the accused gunman. But we do know the gunman is dead. Yeah, Heather, we're now learning from the AP. They are confirming it's 20-year-old Adam Lanza, uh, a man who was last believed living with or near his mother, Nancy, the teacher who was shot in that school in Newtown. Now, let's take a look at some of the video. Um, earlier today, it was widely reported his 24-year-old brother, Ryan, was the shooter, so much so that... Uh, people across the world crashed the Facebook page. It was down for a while, back up now, but that brother was later taken into custody for questioning he's not considered a shooter, uh, not considered a suspect either at this point. But Adam, the deceased 20-year-old shooter, was found to have a weapon like this. It's a 223 caliber assault rifle. We don't know if it was used in the shooting, but it was found on the scene. We do know there were also a pair of handguns used. So right now, we don't know exactly what was used in all these shootings, but there were some guns that right now, a lot of questions remain. How did they get in his hands? And as this story develops and the investigation continues, we're going to hear a lot of questions today and tonight about what should be done. Should we be having this gun control conversation right now? And how did a man like this get so much firepower and how was he determined to use it? We'll be investigating all those things as the day continues. Heather? Thanks, Noah. Chris's details of the tragic shooting started to make headlines this afternoon. Parents who are heading to schools all around the Bay Area here to pick up their own kids and of course give them a big hug. There was shock, sadness, of course a lot of concern about the level of security at our own schools. Tennis reporter Eric Lasser continues our team coverage tonight. He's in Hillsborough County.